Now the latest on a deadly police involved shooting that happened earlier this morning in Pawtucket. 28 year old Deshaun Cole was shot and killed by police after he allegedly assaulted one of the officers involved. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now with the latest developments. Police said this was a tragedy both for the family of Deshaun Cole and the three officers involved. An investigation is now underway to determine if police were justified in killing him. It was early Friday morning when neighbors heard the gunshots. All of a sudden I heard one shot and then I heard like five or six shots after that. And then I heard ping, ping, ping again. I was like maybe gunshots and I was like nah not in this neighborhood. Pawtucket police say it started with a 911 call. The initial call was just a man with a firearm. Someone had noticed it in his waistband. Police Chief Tina Gunn calls says an officer approached Deshaun Cole. The result of the confrontation was a felony assault upon the officer with the firearm. But she repeatedly refused to answer questions about whether Cole actually pulled the trigger. Felony assault with a firearm can also mean pointing a gun at someone or hitting them with it. Gunn calls would not say exactly what happened. The investigation is ongoing and pending and when the investigation concludes we will release that information. The chief says police fired at Cole then performed CPR, but he died at the hospital. She says three officers were involved. All are on administrative leave as the shooting is reviewed, though she would not say if all three fired their guns. Deshaun Cole's family tells Eyewitness News the 28 year old recently moved from Boston to Pawtucket. He worked as a landscaper and loved to fish. His mother called him a good kid. And Cole did have a record in Massachusetts, including multiple gun possession offenses, according to the Suffolk County DA. The shooting will now be reviewed by Pawtucket Police, State Police, and the Attorney General's Office, as is the policy in Rhode Island for officer-involved shootings. A grand jury is also typically convened to determine if the officer's actions were justified. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.